Well, ladies and gentlemen, the junior girls singles final coming your way here on Rod Laver Arena. Would you please welcome from Canada, Layla Annie Fernandez. And her opponent from Denmark, Clara Towson. And 25 seconds, which is the, if you have two, and then also the, the scoreboard. All right, any question? No, broad lever, ANZ. Which one? ANZ. 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 Receive? Uh, serve. Serve? Serve. Uh, Decide, yeah. So Good luck. Clara, uh, Layla Annie Fernandez winning the toss and will serve. Clara Towson. Deciding to choose the other sides. Sun shining brightly. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy Australia Day to you. I've got to get my uh, occasions right, Louise. Yes, Happy New Year. Happy yeah. Australia Day to you. <laughs> Gosh, I know. What a day for Australians and what a beautiful day is it, Pete. It is absolutely stunning out here. And what an am amazing opportunity for both of these young ladies. They are so excited. I watched their warm-up at 10.30 this morning on Rod Laver Arena. They both had brought their best friends uh, along. There are other ITF players that have played here at the Australian Open. And you could not wipe the smile off both of these young ladies. The, the thing is what I absolutely loved, both coaches went up to each other. After the practice, they shook hands. They both engaged. Layla Eni and Clara are really close friends on the ITF tour and soon to be the WTA tour because both young ladies have got rankings on the WTA and so much to be expected from these two young ladies in the future. There's no question about it. They're both going to be unbelievable players in the future. Well, Layla Eni Fernandez has a combined ranking of 12. Here's Clara Telson the junior combined number three in the world. The winner in the, the traditional lead-up event to the Australian Open in Terrelgan, which is in Victoria, not too far away from Rod Laver Arena. And actually, it's a, a rematch of the final there from last week because uh, Leila Annie Fernandez was the runner-up in that event. And for Fernandez, uh, semi-finalist at the, junior, uh, the French Open Junior Championships last year, winning a handful of tournaments on the ITF junior circuits and a combined singles and doubles ranking they have in the junior ranks and for Clara no, the, the Terrelgan title last year but racked up some big tournaments uh, throughout the year the grade A and the grade 1 events which means that she has a combined ranking of 3 and as you say Lou with WTA rankings they have the opportunity to play in some senior ITF events and Try and just make those tentative steps Three minutes. and the transition from the junior to the senior tour. Yeah, both of these young girls, of young ladies, have just done so well in their junior careers. Layla Annie, she really rocketed on to the ITF juniors. At the age of 12, she won an under-16 event in Canada when she was a really youngster. And then... At 14, she qualified for a, a 25,000 in the United States. She qualified one around there, so that's uh, that's an amazing feat for a 14-year-old. There is a Chitgar, our chair umpire from Australia, and they've had a pretty comfortable progression through the girls' singles draw. Towson only dropping the one set that was in the opening round, and Fernandez has been brilliant, not dropping a set en route to the final. Yeah, what I love also, Pete, is that we're going to get an opportunity to see two completely different styles Goodness. from both these young ladies. The Dane, just a big hitter. She's taller. She's stronger. She's got a very big serve, a, a huge forehand. And her game is based around strength and power, really. She's not one of the nimble kind of faster players on the tour. So she's going to look to really dictate early. Like her shot tolerance, you would say, is around two to three. She really wants to finish the point quickly. She's got great technique, and you just see very much a, a linear swinger. And uh, her opponent, just completely different. Layla Eni, 
much more of a clay quarter. She has bigger swings. She needs a little bit more time to build the point. She's much more comfortable using the forehand to hit with shape and look to be aggressive with that flat backhand. So it's always fun just to see just the two different ways or, or the, the different influence from countries. As uh, Clara had a chat with her this morning, she One said Wozniacki is certainly a role model for her. And uh, well, of course, when you come from Denmark, <laughs> that, that, who's going to be? That's just isn't it? Yeah. But isn't that great that she has such a role model to to really look up to? Of course, she'd be Eugenie Bouchard would be the the player that this young lady would have had in front of her, and uh, certainly the last Canadian to do really well at that top level. But both players have fathers as coaches, so that's uh, an interesting, interesting kind of thing to see that 